So what I did was I took cis date and I subtracted a year. And I said, what are the months between cis date and cis date minus 365 days? A year is 12 months. And then I took cis date and I added 128 days. And I come up with 4.2580645 months. Next day requires the input of a date and a weekday, the name of a day. So if I were to put in, for instance, next day Monday, it's my current date is the 21st of January 2003, it's a Tuesday. For some reason I have an invalid argument there. The reason is, is that I didn't put a date in. Now that would certainly help, would it not? So let's put in this date. Copy and paste this. What we get is 27 January 03. The date today is the 21st. It is a Tuesday. I'm looking for the following Monday. Therefore, I get 21st plus 6 days, which is 27 January. My next set of date functions. Rounding and truncation. Once again, rounding rounds up or down, and truncate simply chops off. Let's take a look at some examples. I have a number of examples here, and each one has both the round and truncate. Some will come out the same, some will come out differently, depending on what my current date is. Here I've added a number of days to the cis date to give me a different answer. You'll notice that I have formatting in all these rounding and truncation queries. Why is this? As you can see, the functions are declared syntactically as date with an optional format. What are these formats? For rounding and truncation functions on a date, one places in a single format specifier which tells the trunk and round functions how to round or truncate the dates. In other words, round or truncate to a year, a month, a day, etc, etc. We won't go into the details of these formatting functions at this point. If you want to find out what all these format specifiers mean, go into the documentation on TechNet Online. All I'm going to do at this stage is to take you through some examples. So let's take the first one and round and truncate to Y, 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 Y. What does this give us? This gives us a date rounded to a four-digit year. As you can see, since we're on the 21st of January, and we're only in the first month of 2003, the round function has rounded down. The same applies to truncate. It does the same thing as round because it chops off and it comes out with the 1st of January. The second example will do something slightly different because what we've done is we've ensured that our cis date, or the date that we're going to round and truncate on, plus 300, will be past the middle of the year. So what happens is that round will actually round upwards to the first day on the beginning of next year, 1st of January 2004, and truncate will again chop off and effectively round down. Our next example uses the month format specifier. And all we're doing here is because we're 21st of January, past the middle of the month, we round up to the beginning of February. Truncate again, rounds down, or chops off to the 1st of January. Our last example, we'll look at the quarter. These results will be identical because we are in the first quarter and we are before the middle of the first quarter. So round will round down and do exactly the same thing as truncate, chopping off. 